Hello everyone, this is Brett Darian. This is kind of an unexpected stream, though I've been sort of planning it as well. Uh, this is Gone Home, this is the PS4 version. I have played the PC version back when this game first came out back in 2013. And I think it's a really awesome game and should be played by everyone with an open mind. Um, and again, this is the PS4 version. It has more recently come out on consoles. It was only available on PC for a few years. And this game is also available on Xbox One as well. I think I do have a video of me playing this game on the st on PS on PC. I think I do have a video of me playing that version somewhere on my channel, but I have not played this version at all, and this was actually a PS Plus game, um, so I actually got it for free, but I have not played it yet, so I am going to play through this, and hopefully it'll be fun to play through it again. I think it will. Um, now, if you have not played this game before, I do recommend not watching this and just going to play the game yourself because it really is worth because it really is worth experiencing uh, without everything being spoiled so let me check the options here first real quick Let's see what graphics options do they give field of view and brightness and yeah, that should be all okay controls yeah that should be all okay Hmm. Yeah, I think everything's fine. Alright. So these are the controls here. Just walk and look around. And I'm assuming the X button is interact. So. And you can also do um, commentary. Um, there is developer commentary available. For when you, uh, for when you um, finish the game, and you can also do these other sort of like cheats. You can unlock all the doors and and turn on all the lights in the house, just to make the game even easier than it really is, uh, than it already is. Uh, but I recommend only doing that uh, you know, after you beat the game for the first time. So let's start here. This game isn't very long. If you're playing it for the first time, you can probably f finish it in like two or three hours. And if you're playing it again, like me, then you can probably finish it in less than an hour. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Okay, so you play as Caitlin Greenbrier. And you are returning home. But the door is locked. There is a note here. Katie. I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please, don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Uh, 
remember correctly, I think the key is in here. This cost six dollars. Yeah, this is a little dark. Let me adjust the brightness just a bit. That might be a little better. L2. There we go. This is your passport because you're returning from Europe. Boarding pass. So this game, uh, this version is pretty much the exact same version as the PC version. I don't think they added anything or fixed anything, though I don't think there was really anything to fix. The game was pretty stable, and I didn't notice any major glitches or anything. Yeah, this is pretty dark still, but I think it'll be okay. So the gist of this game is just, uh, you walk around, and you explore this house, which is your home, and you try to find out what's going on here. what happened to your family and where is everyone and you can interact with you know a lot of different things I'm going to increase the brightness again one more notch Sure, save that, yeah. So you just walk around and you look at different things. There's a lot of papers to read, a lot of folders to open. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. And that was the first journal we picked up. So as you go exploring, you'll find more journals, and you'll hear more commentary. Now this game seems to move slower than the PS uh, than the PC version. I seem to remember walking faster in that version. I don't think there's a sprint button. I don't think so. No. the brightness up again. It still seems to be very dark. So this is the living room, or den. Someone ate all the pizza. No, I would. 
This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Someone watches the X-Files, too. They have it circled. Family Matters. It's a good show. Uh, uh, Boy Meets World, I remember watching that. Um, Matlock. Robocop, I guess. Movie. Walker, Texas Ranger, who can forget that show. And Red Dwarf, that was a very cool show, too. It's a British TV show. It used to be on PBS. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties. Austin County, Boone County, Dawn County, Tacoma County, and Wistaria County. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows. And here's an X-Files tape, season one. So someone's been recording. Here's more VHS tapes. Looks like it says 2001, The Dark Crystal. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service. We have some AV cables here. Rain conditions affecting the following counties. Can't exactly County, see the County, connector. Dawn County, Tacoma County. But that might be a Nintendo connector. Could be for a Super Nintendo. Blood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Because there are like Super Nintendo like games, cartridges you can find in the game, so This is a severe weather warning. Alright. Let's see. This is Fizz Wright Ginger Ale. X-Files, and someone really loves the X-Files. Clash of the Titans. Looks like record albums. The Time Machine. Fantastic Voyage. Yep. Lots of good stuff in here. Office. Electrical inspection. Wiring in houses technically up to safety and, and amperage requirements. However, multiple layers of wiring have been have been added into structure over the last 100 years. So I guess the house is pretty old then. A combination we'll have to remember for later. I'm not going to look at everything that would take more time, though, 
I mean, that's what makes the game even more, you know, the more time you spend, you know, looking at stuff, then, you know, you get more out of it. If you really want to know all the history, you can spend quite a while looking at everything, because there's quite a lot to look at here. You know, but I don't want this stream to go on for too long, but... some photos as well. I believe this is... This might be your sister, Sam. Okay, and this is a postcard that you sent. First day at Goodfellow High School. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Samantha, please give this to your mother. Danny asked if he could lend Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighter Street Fighting Tape and I gave my permission. He needs to spend less time with those games anyway. No hurry returning it. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. That's second book. Mackie should be unable to publish your follow-up to the accidental Pariah. So your dad is a struggling publisher. We have a phonograph here, or a record player. <laughs> Here's some detailed information on our reproductive system, if you're curious. Can't get you off my mind. What am I going to do? Voodoo, mildew, and chandu. Well, Daddy, I didn't know you were. I'm right here looking at you, honey. If it ain't me, it's my shadow. Sometimes I can't read this cursor very well. I ain't been nowhere. From me, I saw. Well, Daddy, I didn't know you were. I'm right here looking at you, honey. If it ain't me, it's my shadow. Sometimes I can't read this cursor very well. Dr. Jitters. Tennessee. The best for your table.
All right. about the stuff that's missing. Whatever you found, don't tell mom and dad. The attic. Combination again. So there is a safe. There is a. Yeah, there is a combination there. I think it was zero. Is it zero four five one? Let me type that in anyway, see if it works. Son. This will. I guess that's all that's in here. Upstairs we go. This, I believe, is Sam's room. Binder. Sam had this in like fourth grade. <laughs> See, this is a bracelet? Or oh, no, it's a collar for mittens. Cat. this poster. Yes, here's a cartridge. Advent the adventurous cat or adventurous the cat returns this is obviously a super nintendo cartridge and here's some codes 
helicopter kick. You hold down, then up, and then kick. Pretty cool. Here's some old clothes. Here's a cassette tape. I guess that's the same song they had in the PC version. I have to listen to it again though. They may have changed a few words. Alright. Okay. Parents' bedroom. Clothes, and more clothes. like jeans. Very detailed detailed uh, photos there. More cassette tapes. Uh, let's see. Silence of the Lambs. Inside Edition, the Sound of Music, Butch Cassidy, All the President's Men, Candles, the bathtub, after the honeymoon, rediscovering your spouse, personally, spiritually, sexually. Party. Toothbrush. Hand soap. Still hear the water running from here. Mm. Look, a ghost game. Ghost mansion. Something under the bed. Take your time. I'm glad to have it in good hands. It's not 6,000 hands. It's good hands.
I am in the ch channel. Channel. <laughs> the Holy Bible. There's Mom's green purse. Well, here's the hall bath, and what is this? What is this? Oh, it's just the stuff right here. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. And the moment was gone. Nailed it. Quick fix Brannigan. Something oh, got lost. There we go. Use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. So I guess this would be the guest room. This is all Katie's stuff. It's kind of a creepy room. I wouldn't want to sleep here. There's a neat little uh, sewing machine just pops right out. in the library I noticed something in the corner and I found a secret passage it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it we're skipping sixth
Yeah, I do think you walk slower here. I just... I mean, it's just... The way it seems, but... This feels slower. Evidence of the supernaturals. Huh. You still hear that water running? And they're going to have a high water bill. Here is a panel. Ouija board. What's bad news there? I remember where all the journal entries are. I know I've missed quite a few. Here's a trophy. Regional track and field. Do not read. Let's read it. one more there we go at Todd's brother's place after the show there was only a futon to sleep on so Lonnie and I shared it the lights went out I was turned toward her my eyes started to adjust and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head, and I really hoped she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode.
It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like, instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour, and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. All right. Minus combination. Zero fifty one. Lonnie came over today, but everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie... Do you think... you... could ever... And that's when she kissed me. Attic. We'll be going there eventually as well. Alright, I think I'm going to the basement next. help but notice that this just seems a lot slower. I feel like I'm crawling. Alright, basement time. What will we find down here? for kind, A is for amazing, I is for intelligent, T is for talented, L is for lighthearted, I is for important, N is for nice. Well, that's nice. Oh man, one of my old sex ed assignments. Isn't this the same one we saw upstairs? Or, well, maybe not. So if you wondered how it works, that's how it works. Boiler and water heater. Thirty-five US gallons. Here's some scrap. Lonnie and Sam. It's an odd place to have a lamp. Books, books, and more books. This 
this is one of granddad's books. A lot of newspapers. Uh, Girl Scout band formerly known as Cub Scout Set List. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, "I can sing," and they were all kind of like, "You can," and she was like, "Probably." But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Read it quick. <laughs> I'm not going to read any more of that detail. Not going to happen. <laughs> Here's the consent. I don't know if I have listened to this one. Well, yeah, there's tape player right here. Here's a map of Arbor Hill, which I think is the name of the house you're in. First floor. Here's a safe, but there's actually nothing important in it, if I remember. And this room back here is empty. There's, there's really no reason to be in here. There's just wood. And that's it. Let's see. I don't know how to look at the chat on my phone. So I don't know how to get to that. I was trying to figure that out earlier, but there seems to be no seems to be no way to do it that I can see
newly published book. I wasn't really interested in the side story of your dad and his publishing company and all that. I just really wanted to find out what was going on with your family and Sam and Lonnie. I think there's something else I have to find here. Hmm. Creative writing. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was, like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just... never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Bell is missing. class trip, which is stupid because it's March and I don't know if anyone running the school has been to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy. <laughs> they tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail, and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, You didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though? I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. I think I remember where it is.
the sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. I won't go to the attic just yet. There's still one more place to go to. I did that a little out of order. So you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. I think this is what I was looking for. <clears throat> That's a lot of mom and dad situation. thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of I don't know <laughs> I don't know what that word is peripheral <laughs> peripheral vision costumes skeletons and devils sometimes more pizza like her band and our zine and her hair and everything are all anti-authority but I watch her in JROTC and she's doing drills in perfect formation following orders no question and there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask don't tell like she's going to join the army and then have to lie about who she is she said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. 
This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Secret doors all around the house. <laughs> and that water is still running. <laughs> Never understood what this picture was. Looks like it says no, but I don't know where all the. I don't know what the. Uh, looks like knives and thundercloud is for. mom and dad are not exactly super open-minded about things it feels like every minute I don't spend with Lonnie I spend worrying about them finding out about us and what would happen if they did you know dad's joke about the nunnery that he'd tell whenever you brought boys around the old house I wonder where he'd want to send me Earth, wind, and fire. No cameras. Must be a concert ticket. It was like three bucks American. Here's the kitchen. Rick's wedding? Anniversary trip? And right now it's a June seventh. Right here. So that's where your parents are. garage
milk. Your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary June 3rd to 7th. We will be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. The kitchen is still in mid-renovation. Never trust a contractor. That's right. Forty dollars is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good. Mm hmm We will. See, uh, see that purple ball up there? You can do something fun with that if you want. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. She's really going to be... gone. Just gone. I think I ever opened these bottom drawers. Something in them anyway, besides uh besides a few weird looking apples and a very old banana. Alright, who's up for lunch? You want pizza? No. Oh, this one's gone too. P peanut butter? Creamy peanut butter. And more Dr. Jitters. Which is probably a Dr. Pepper ripoff. Oh well. We're in the woods one day. It was sunny and they were on an ad they were on a venture. <laughs> uh, wonder who wrote this? On an ocean. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. Ah. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends. How much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. Lots of stuff in here. Food and condiments. Dining room. Okay, where's the light switch? There's gotta be a light here. Here we go. Distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. Phone call to students' parents. Out of school suspension. Four days.
you are grounded for the rest of the month. interesting talk with mom and dad tonight when you were never gonna need to have I mean you've known right I've known I've known since like she -Ra. mom and dad didn't I guess but they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker and they were like is there something we should know about you and Lonnie and so here's the thing I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them because they're in for one very long phase. June 3rd through 7th. So where they're actually at is this counseling retreat. This is what I found earlier. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up. And I was finally alone. Alright, let's take this ball. Before we go in the attic. Let's go back to Sam's room. And we will... This is how you get the secret journal. Hopefully you like cats, because you will really love this. I can still hear water running. <laughs> Where's that even coming from? Like... Oh, it's coming from this sink. Wow. Well, I'll turn that off here so we can hear. Make this basket, and that's when it happens. Meow, <laughs> 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 
meow 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 I don't know if you caught the uh, developers there catching a laugh at that. <laughs> that wasn't me. Here's a nice touch as well. These, these glow in the dark. I guess they're stickers. It's pretty cool. It's very cool. If you lay down on your bed and you look up and you can actually look at the moon and the stars. <laughs> so that's fun. That was really fun to discover. I mean, me and my buddy uh, Derek, aka Indead, on YouTube, uh, we had a lot of fun uh, playing this game when it first came out and it was really fun to explore and and cause when you first play the game, you don't know what's going on, you don't know what happened, and and it's really it's really interesting and really fun to find out what's really going on. So here we go up in the attic. This is where this is the final area of the game. This is where the Christmas duck goes. Oh my god. Katie. I, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie in my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. It was Lonnie, on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to Basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me, and us, and that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being a part, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can, and get in your car, and come find me. And let's just drive, until we find somewhere for us and she asked me if I could do that and I said yes yes all kinds of photo paper Well, that's pretty much it. Um, I know I missed some journals here. Let me look real quick. Yeah, it looks like I missed um, maybe four or five. But it's alright. There might be a trophy for getting all of them. Maybe. I'm not sure. But that's alright. I can get that later. But this is the last... Um, this is the last one right here, when you, when you read this one, that's when the game will end. But yeah, this is, this is going home. Again, it's a really, really good game for the open-minded. Um, some were put off by the, you know, the love between, um, Sam and, and Lonnie. And they were hoping it to be like a more horror-like game. But to me, I just, I mean, I didn't really care. I just thought it was a really good story, and I really enjoyed it. Katie, <laughs> I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal, and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad. And you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. 
I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. Love. But yeah, this is made by the Fort Bright Company, and they're making a new game called uh, Tacoma. I actually haven't heard too much about that game lately. I thought it was supposed to come out soon, maybe sometime next year. So hopefully we'll know more about that game soon. But it's supposed to be a game just like this, only it takes place in space, I believe. So that should be very interesting. So if you like what you see here, then definitely look out for that game in the future. I do have videos, I believe, of um, going through the developer commentary. I'll post links to those in the description. If I have them on YouTube, I may have only streamed them on Twitch. I'm not sure if I put them on YouTube or not, but I'll look, and if I do, I will provide links. But it definitely is going through the commentary, though. You learn so much more about the game and how they made it. So I highly recommend it. And you get a trophy for completing the game. Alright guys, well I hope you had fun. Um, it was great playing through this again. And uh, again, you know, if if you like these kind of games, these exploration games, I highly recommend picking it up. And uh, they even released a physical uh, PC special edition, which I also own. In fact, I think I did a video on that as well. So I'll post links to all that stuff down below. Uh, so you can watch that if you want. But anyhow, though, thanks for watching, and um, and I'll see you guys in my next video.